Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat. It's pretty cold in here, huh? Yeah. It's a lot colder in here than most of your homes, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot colder in here than my home. I got news for you. Wow. That's why I didn't wear a jacket. I forgot. I thought it was going to be warm in here. Well, let's see if we can't warm this place up a bit, okay? What do you think? Yeah. See if we could bring a little refiner's fire here today. Does anybody's soul need refining? Yes. Would you say everybody's soul needs refining? Yes. Yeah. If your soul didn't need refining, then we wouldn't need the Lord, right? Amen. But we're not finished yet. We're under construction, correct? Yes. Okay, so we still have a ways to go? Yes. All right, then we're in a good place because I think God's going to do something today. What do you think? Yes. All right. Let's get right into it. What do you say? All right. Um, if you're following along, if you have your Bibles, uh, it's Psalm 97 that we're reading. And, and what's happening here is, is the Lord has taken his throne. Uh, let me try that again. Because either I'm talking to a painting or your life is perfect. Which one is it? Move. Okay, so it's not a painting. Is your life perfect? Okay. Yeah, I thought I was going to just be able to read the psalm and you guys were ready, but you're not, are you? Why? Why don't you spend a lot of time this morning with the Lord? Some of you people are spending more time with what you're going to wear than, than with the Lord. It's crazy. You should be, last night you should have been with the Lord and you should have been with your family and you should have been celebrating Shabbat. You should have been praying and getting filled up. And this morning you should have woke up super early, not sleeping, and get tanked up with the Holy Spirit. Because we're only as strong as our weakest link. There's nothing we could do. It's, it's on us. God's waiting for us. We seem to be waiting on him, but trust me, he's waiting on us. He's ready. He doesn't need to give out more light. All the light's out there. We need to take in more. We don't need to pray, oh God, shine more of your light. All his light is out there. You follow? It's all out there for the taking. So I thought, Lord, I can just come in and read this psalm and everybody get excited, right? No. Okay, there's something called dry-eyed Christianity. It went on for hundreds and hundreds of years. The body of Messiah was not praying for the Lord to come back. Now, because things seem to be very pressured and people are not as happy as they used to be and, and there's just more stress in this world, it seems like the body of believers, the true body of believers, are crying out for the Lord to come back, right? I mean, that's our heart's desire, right? The return of Messiah. That's the goal, right? Okay, so let me try this again, all right? The psalm I'm going to read is a song about the Lord has taken his throne. I hate to badger the witness, but you're killing me. I mean, this is exciting stuff. Listen to the first verse. Adonai is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coasts and the islands be glad. You know what he's saying? There's going to be worldwide rejoicing. You've got brothers and sisters all over the world. When he comes on the clouds, the world is going to rejoice. You follow? Clouds and thick darkness surround him. What does that mean? It means we know very little of God. I'm here to tell you that you think I know so much. I'm here to confess to you like I do every week. I know very little of God. Very little. I mean, like a drop in the bucket is what I know about God. He's mysterious. Who knows the mind of the Lord and who could be his counselor? Who has ever given to the Lord that he should give back to us? For from him and through him and to him are all things. Amen. That's how I feel. Whether I know a little bit or a lot, I'm still going to give him praise and worship. Has nothing to do with it. And then it says, righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Finally, finally we have a White House. It's legit. There's no perversion of truth when he takes the throne. Fire goes before him. Listen to these verses. Fire goes before him, setting ablaze his foes on every side. Yes, that will happen. There is a judgment. I'm sorry. I, I don't apologize for it. I apologize for those who are not sharing it. 
His flashes of lightning light up the world. The earth sees it and trembles. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of Adonai, at the presence of the Lord of all the earth. That means everything will be humbled when he returns except for him. The heavens declare the righteousness and all the people see his glory. Hallelujah. Somebody say it. Hallelujah. Come on, people. You're going to see the eastern sky open. You're going to see him riding on the clouds with the saints of old. Hallelujah. And we will behold his glory. Hallelujah. All who worship images will be put to shame. Those who make their boast in worthless idols. As much as, as much as God says, yes, yes, I give you the choice. Everything is permissible. They're going to be so dazed and confused and befuddled, but it's going to be too late. They're going to be like, oh, my God. But it's going to be too late. Too late. Bow down to him, all you gods, all you angels. Bow down. Zion hears and is glad, yes. The daughters of Jehuda, they rejoice at your rulings. They're going to be singing and dancing in the streets of Judah. For you, Adonai, most high over all the earth, you are exalted far above all gods. At last, Israel sees him as El Elyon, the most high God. You who love Adonai hate evil. He keeps his faithful servant safe. Do you know why you're here? Because he kept you safe this week. That's why. <laughs> he rescues them from the power of the wicked. You think the enemy isn't after you constantly? Do you have any idea how many times in the course of the day God or a warrior angel puts his hand on Satan's chest and takes you and puts you behind him? Do you have any idea? You think the enemy is destroying your life? Listen, guys, if it wasn't for the Lord, you would be destroyed. I would be destroyed. You don't think I have a target on my back? The big mouth that I have? He rescues them from the power of the wicked. You're not overcome. Light is sown for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. When he comes, it will be joy unspeakable. We've never tasted that joy. Your greatest moment, your greatest day, I know you think, oh, it's been blissful. There's sometimes, Lord, I'm in your presence, and it's like paradise. You have no concept. I have no concept of what it's going to be when he returns. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting that your best days are ahead of you? Rejoice in Adonai, you righteous. Now, now, this is the last sentence, and it's a surprise ending for me. Because we've heard this, this beautiful song about Messiah's return, and we're so excited, right? And then it says, rejoice in Adonai, you righteous, because we heard it, so now we're, woohoo, woohoo. And then it says, and give thanks on recalling His holiness. No, no, I don't want that. I, I want to give thanks for calling his love. That's why I want this song to end. God, change it. I, I want it to end. And give thanks for calling his mercy. That's how I want it. His tender loving kindness. Or, or how about give thanks for calling his grace. That's a good one. Okay, I'll settle for that. Or how about, okay, okay, you want to be pushy, Lord? Fine. Then I'll give thanks for calling your glory. Okay, your magnificence. I can deal with that. But your holiness? Do you know why it ends like that? Because at one time, we were excluded from his holiness. Because God is holy, and we are the furthest thing from it. But because of Yeshua's bloody self-sacrifice of redemption, now we're not excluded, we're included and his holiness is on our side is that a good thing then dang it celebrate hallelujah hallelujah we're included you're included that can't be taken from you
Everything's going to shake. Your life is going to shake. Your health is going to shake. Your finances are going to shake. Even your family may shake. But your salvation is unshakable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why we're here. To worship this great God that includes us in his holiness. So Father, we say in Yeshua's name, thank you, thank you, a million times thank you. We love you, we bless you. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen.